it's asymmetric that if we didn't define ourselves for ourselves, we will be defined by others for their use and to our detriment. Audrey Lord. So this project is important to me because I feel like that in today's society, black women need to have more self-esteem, they need to be more proud of themselves, and it's too much with reality TV and all the poor images and portrayals of black women, and I just feel like we need to, as black women, build each other up, build ourselves up, have more self-worth, and eventually get to a point where we're okay with being in our own skin. A lot of stereotypes that people try to place upon me is I am conceited, I'm stuck up, I'm all about materialistic things, and I'm not intelligent. Even though I hate the word articulate, I'm not articulate. I can't you know, speak clearly or try to express my feelings in an intelligent way, and it's very discouraging. On a day-to-day -day basis, I actually struggle to get people to see me as a person and my ideas, rather than looking at me or looking at my body and saying, hmm, I want to listen to what you're saying, but man, like you, you're, you really look nice. Like, what? hold on one second, I'm sorry. What's going on? Like, what do you have to say? Okay, can we just <laughs> back up a second, look at me as a person, I'll look at you as a person, let's take down this facade of it being, you know, exterior looks and how someone looks on the outside and look at me as this person has something intelligent to say. Don't just assume that because I'm this gorgeous, exotic woman that I don't know how to articulate. This idea of exoticism is basically, ever since I got to New York actually, a lot of people always ask me, oh, where are you from? Uh, the United States. No, 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 where are you from? Like, you look like you're from another country or the islands or I'm like, you know, I'm black. My parents are from the South. It's okay. Like, no, but you look like you're from Brazil or, you know, from DR or like from Africa. Or, oh, are you West African? I'm like, no, I'm just black. It's okay. I would like to label myself as someone who is intelligent I am pursuing greatness, so I want to be able to bring other people along that ride with me. So I want to build my confidence, build other people's confidence, and just let everyone know that I am me, deal with it, and if you don't like what I put out there, then you don't have to associate yourself with me. But I'm going to build a positive image for myself, and that's all I can do. I want the world to see me as a young, intelligent black woman. I am working very hard to pursue my graduate education as well as working and tutoring and doing a lot of community service. So I just want the world to see me as that, just a hardworking, intelligent black woman. I have a lot to say to them actually for the young girls that are growing up, I want them to understand their self-worth. I want them to understand that they don't have to expose themselves or be scantily dressed in order to let other people know that, you know, I'm intelligent, I have self-confidence, I have self-worth, I don't need a man to validate who I am as a person, I don't need other people to validate me, I can validate myself. And I want them to understand that it's not about what other people think. It's about you and what you want to put out there and what you want the world to see you as. So what you put out is what you're going to get. So you have to put out excellence in order to get that back. So that's what I want, especially the younger generation to take a code of. Hi, my name is Ijama D. Hanacha. I'm a fine art photographer and creator of The Reimagining. Thank you so much for taking a moment to understand why this project is so important to us. Please help us make this historic project possible. 100% of your donation will go towards the creation of this exhibit. 
Visit us at idxstudios.com for more information on how you can help the reimagining.